Hi everyone, Denise Robinson from By the Bay Kinesiology and the Emotions and Metaphysical Kinesiology Modality. Today I want to talk about kinesiology, what is it, and also muscle reflex testing plus how to do it. I'm going to show you in a moment. So kinesiology uses muscle reflex testing, which is an arm muscle, to tap into the subconscious mind where we hold our beliefs, past patterns, experiences, etc., to clear stress. And we clear stress on all levels, physical as in physical pain in the body or headaches, things like that. Um, emotional as in grief or hurt or pain or depression from past things. Mental as in anxiety or overthinking a lot of things. Um, and spiritually, which could be belief systems and stuff that are going on. So we work on all those levels. And we work with the subconscious mind. So we bypass the conscious mind and tap into the subconscious mind where we live for 92 to 98% of the time. So we get um, into those core patterns and clearing those uh, layers that are there that are stopping us from living our best life. And so when we're working with a muscle test, that's what we're doing. We're tapping into the subconscious. We can work with clearing belief systems. We can clear trauma from the past. We can clear relationship issues, work stress, family stuff, um, self-esteem and work on like building someone's self-esteem. We can work on anxiety and depression and all of those things. So there's so many things that kinesiology can help with. So when we're working with a muscle, we use brachioradialis muscle in the emotions and metaphysical kinesiology modality. And this muscle's great because it's in the arm. It's on the side of the arm here. And it's the muscle that does this action. And so this is an easy muscle for anyone to use when they're doing it on themselves or to use on someone else. So here's the process. So I get permission to test from my participant. Have I got permission to test? Thank you. And then I want to basically check that the muscle is working both physically, emotionally, and biochemically, because I want to have an accurate indicator muscle. So what I do is firstly, physically, I'm going to spindle the muscle cells off, um, or the fibers off to make the muscle unlock as a manual manipulation. And then I'm going to turn it back on again. So I want to check that that works when I'm asking it to unlock and lock. So I've got a locked muscle at the moment. I'm going to push to mush in the side of the muscle and the muscle gives way. So I go, awesome. The muscle is doing as I've asked it to do. Now I'm going to lengthen to strengthen in the muscle fibers and test that again. It is locking. So I know, great, I've got that working. Now I want to challenge that muscle. I've done physical. I want to challenge it on an emotional level. So can you think of something scary or embarrassing? Uh, yep. Yeah. And hold there for me. It's unlocking. Great. I want it to unlock because anything scary or embarrassing or that is a stress for the participant will switch off the muscle. And now I want to check that it will switch back on with a positive experience. So can you think about something you like that's positive that you enjoy? Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. I can hold. You always get the participant to hold and that is locking. So I go, great. I've got the muscle working emotionally. And the final test is biochemical. So I want to check that if she thinks about smelling something revolting, that it switches off the muscle and thinks about smelling something that she enjoys or likes the scent of, that it turns the muscle back on. So can you think of something gross that you don't like the smell of? Yeah. And hold. Okay. It's switching off. And can you think of something that you enjoy and like the scent of? Mm -hmm. Okay. And hold. And that is working. So now I know that I have an accurate indicator muscle. I can do that. Uh, use that muscle to test any areas of the body. Um, you could also test things like uh, sugar is a great one for people just to show them that the body is switching on and off. And you can also get them to say their name or to say words. So if I was to do sugar, I could put the vial here. This is a refined sugar, so not a good sugar for you. Um, and I can just test the body and straight away she'll switch off to it. So it shows me that that muscle is working. And if I take it off and put it back here, it's now working again. I could also get you to say worry or fear as a negative kind of word. Can you say worry for me? Worry. And hold. And that will unlock the muscle. And then gratitude is a really high vibrational word for most people is a positive word. So it will lock the muscle. Can you uh, say gratitude? Gratitude. And hold. Perfect. So we can see that all of those things are working and that is basically how you do muscle reflex testing on a muscle. If you wanted to do some self-testing on yourself, there's a couple of other things that you could do. So you could get your fingers together like this and hold them like this. And a, this is when you would do yes and no rather than stress response. So you're not looking for an indicated change. You're looking for a yes and no. So I could say, show me a yes, it will lock. Show me a no, it would unlock. That's a really great way. You could use the muscle that I was just using then to test um, a yes and a no and then ask questions based on maybe what essential oil you might need for the day or what oracle card is testing up or what food do I want to eat. So there's other ways in which you can do um, self-testing on yourself as well. If you want to know more, you can head to my website and find out more about the emotions and metaphysical kinesiology through www.bythebaykinesiology.com.au or emotionsandmetaphysicalkinesiology.com.